Greetings and welcome back. In the previous lecture, we set up our first button with our first signal. When you click the button, because of this signal on the pressed signal here in our signals node list, it calls a method and in that method in our script that we can click and get right here, I created these commands and one of them is just a print statement we can get rid of now that we just were learning how to debug and we increment our money and then we update our UI so now let's see how we can actually buy and keep track of the stores now hopefully you did this as an assignment um, you know and challenge yourself of calculating up these stores but let's go ahead and see how we can do this we go back to our 2D and let's go ahead and click in here and under our scene add a node, another label and we can select it here, just another label for our store count and we'll just drag it out here and name it store count. Now I was on the button accidentally when I uh, made that node. So this shows you how I can click and hold and drag and just bring this back out of that button. I don't want our label nested under our button like it was. And I want to click back over here on our inspector and just give uh, like a zero in brackets. And I'll put things in brackets like this because this is how I'll know that I need to fill them in with code that um, I don't get that it did a for some reason my my program when it runs doesn't update things like it's supposed to it'll be really obvious to me because it's going to leave this bracket around uh, there whereas if i had it as a zero in here i wouldn't know for sure that my code in the startup is properly updating so that's why i put brackets around my code just a little tip as as to why i do that i'm also going to align this in the center just i guess it doesn't matter for right now we're going to have this eventually with the picture of our store over here and so that's why I said I was going to align this to the center so we got our store count and I like to actually put label on here so we know that we're talking about the label object and I should say node because that's what we call them here in Godot and I want to update this just like I update the money variable but this time I want to do it when we buy a store so I can click on this button and just say duplicate and that might be a little faster than having to select it and I'm going to call this the buy button and that gives me a good reason to change this to say click button notice how I'm naming everything now one of the things about copying and pasting in duplicating is you'll notice that it duplicated my signal here and it already has a signal so this gives me an opportunity to show you how to break a signal we don't want to use the same on button pressed signal because we're already using this for our click button to make the money when we buy we want to have a different method so I'm going to disconnect this and instead I'm going to say when I click press and I say connect it will create a brand new signal and we'll make sure panel is selected again and notice that our method in node now says on buy button press and that's what's important here when I duplicated it it was gonna send to the same method so something to keep in mind you can duplicate nodes not a problem but there's considerations when you have signals attached to them so let's just go ahead and connect our buy button pressed and set up another variable var store count it's common in Python to separate your words with underscores and keep everything lowercase in here and I say Python this is GD script but I think of it a lot like Python so let's inside of this function now increment our store count and we don't have to say store count equals store count plus one. We can use a shortcut plus equals one. That's also like Python. Plus equals one. 
So this is the same as saying money equals money plus one or store count equals store count plus one. And then we update our UI. And we can then copy and paste this. And we won't want a dollar sign this time. So we'll just get rid of that. And we want store count instead of money. And here we're going to have instead of money label, store count label, like that. And let's run. And I forgot to move my buy button over, so let's click it. And I forgot to rename it. So there's our duplicated button, but we need to have it say buy me <laughs> instead of click me, not buy me. I guess I could have it say that, but we'll just have it say buy. So this is click to make money, and this will buy and increment our store count. So let's run it. And when we buy, we see our store count go up. And when we click me, we make money in our store. So this is two, basically the same thing. One to keep track of our store counts, one to keep uh, and make money. So we've just basically duplicated this in getting our, our store count. And so as you can see, pretty simple stuff so far. But in the next lecture, we're gonna take this make our store look a little better as we lay it out and we'll actually start storing the profit and the cost of the store and actually seeing our money change so we're spending money when we buy stores and as opposed to just not doing anything except incrementing this counter and I could actually let's before we quit we can in our store count say money minus equals five or something so let's go ahead and do that so we can see what I mean by that so let's go ahead and at least show the money going down when we buy so we buy stores see how we're going in the negative because we don't have any controls yet to keep us from doing that that's what we'll be doing in the next lecture and then we use this to make money so one store one button makes money the other button buys stores and increments this counter so very very basics to get started making it easy for beginners to follow along hope you're having fun we're going to continue in the next lecture and we'll get our buying costs in there in a variable we're going to have our store profit in a variable and then and update and make the money uh, so that uh, it is a little bit more clean and everything uh, so that it can multiply by the store count so that the more uh, stores you have obviously the more money you make so we'll do a calculation there for our store profit so I'm going to challenge you as an assignment to do that see if you can do that yourself otherwise watch me in the lecture and we'll see how you do